Hello friends, welcome to Desi Teach and Videsh. So today we will go through the entry level recent job positions or the jobs for the recent graduates in Europe. Let's go through the details of these positions. Okay, so first position is R&D engineer, research and development engineer. And this is in France. Location is France and the company is ANSYS. And you know, like ANSYS is the global leader in the engineering simulation, right? It's enabling next generation advancement from self-driving cars to electric aircraft to connected cities, right? So if you already worked in the ANSYS, you already know like this is the best simulation software. So you can like uh, test the behavior of any product like, uh, like in real environment, right? So using the simulation software. Well, so getting a job in ANSYS or getting a position in ANSYS is really a big achievement for any recent graduate. So what is this about? So this position is about the developing of the framework modules and APIs to facilitate this ANSYS simulation software, right? So basically this is related to the computer science or applied mathematics or engineering or any science discipline with two years of experience. If you have the bachelor degree, and if you have a master's degree, you don't need any experience, right? So working experience like means you uh, can show because you are a recent graduate, you can show the experience like uh, uh, means like you worked in some projects during your course. Um, that's, that's, uh, that's called as academic experience, right? Or research experience, you worked like you did some training or you attended some courses like during, or you did some internship, you can also, so this will also work as an experience because you are a recent graduate and this is an entry level position. And there are some preferred qualifications. So other than like, for example, you should have the degree in computer science or applied mathematics or any engineering degree, if you have some experience in the C++ and Python programming and HPC programming, but in my opinion, if you have C++ and Python, so out of these three programming skills, if you have the two, you should be a good candidate. And if you have the skills in all three, then you will be a best candidate. And what is the preferred qualification? Preferred qualification means you have some experience with finite simulation, finite element simulation, right? So it means like, uh, although this is related to the computer science because you have to develop the framework modules and APIs, but if you have the experience in finite element modeling or finite element simulation, it means you will better understand the like requirement, right? So if you have like experience, like working this, uh, you have already experienced this using this uh, ANSYS simulation software, then you could be the best candidate if you have some programming skills as well, right? So, other requirements, you know, like, okay, experience with MPI or Fortran, if you have and good communication, this is preferred qualification. This is not the essential qualification, right? If you have these qualifications as well, then nobody can stop you. Yeah, nobody can stop you, right? But the requirements are there, but these are the preferred qualification. It means, it doesn't mean that you must have all these qualifications. Right. Okay. So you will get a good salary and benefits. So here is the link. You can just go through this link and apply directly. And the link I will provide at the description box of this video as well. Okay. So other position is related to the master's thesis. And this is in the development of rule monitor for safe autonomous driving. So this job is about the opportunity to finish the master's dissertation or thesis at ZF Group in Germany. The field is related to autonomous driving and more specifically, the title of this is a development of a rule monitor for safe autonomous driving. JEDF is global technology company supplying systems for passenger cars, commercial vehicles and industrial technology, right? So also, also enabling the next generation of mobility. So this is also the very good opportunity, right? If you do the thesis in this company, right? Definitely most of the chances maybe you can be absorbed at the same company or wherever you will apply while doing the internship or while doing the thesis here, you can be selected, right? You would be the best candidate because while doing your master's, you are getting experience at the good industry, right? Industrial experience. So what is like, uh, what you will do? So you will do some literature survey or something because that is you have to do for your master thesis, right? Because literature survey or literature review you have to do because you have to include like before like introduction, this literature review. And uh, you should have some like, uh, so you have to do, you have to use C++, right? So this is, you must know. So this is all about selection and uh, implementation of STL runtime monitor algorithm in C++, right? 
So you have to develop some algorithm, right? An evaluation of functionality and comparison to the current implementation. So this is the job you have to do. But what are the requirements? So requirements like you sh should be a student, right? Not completed, but you should be a master student in the field of computer science, electrical engineering, control engineering, or any comparable, sub comparable subject if you have the interest towards this master's thesis, right? So you should have the interest in the safe monitor, uh, safe motion planning for autonomous driving. Well, so other requirement, good communication is skill and also that's it. Right? So you will get a good salary and you have to apply with the CV cover letter transcript. The link is here. Link, I, uh, link will also be provided in the description box of this video. Okay, another job is a design engineer. This is in Sweden. The company name is Ateplan. Well, so Ateplan is rapidly growing technology service company specializing in software and embedded solution, engineering solution and technical documentation solution. Okay, so what is this all about? So the main thing they already mentioned that you should have a strong interest in technology and product development, as well as curiosity to learn means new things, right? And some internal external assignments you will get, so you should have the interest and you will be working in close cooperation with our customers, they mentioned. So who comes from wide range of applications, right? So what are the requirements? You should have a master's or bachelor degree in mechanical, chemical or mechatronics engineering. So this is all related to the mechanical. I have few years of relevant experience, preferably from different fields. So experience means, doesn't mean that you should have the experience means in the real time experience. You can show the experience in terms of internship. You can show the experience in terms of working in different projects while like uh, doing your study or something like that. Okay. And you should have experience in CAD, okay, CAT via if I, Creo and others, maybe something like that. So these softwares, you should have some hand-on experience and you should have the driving license, right? So if not, you can get, but other requirements you must fulfill. Okay? And what you will get, you will get a good salary and benefits and how to apply. So you have to apply with CV, cover letter, transcripts, everything. And uh, the link is here and link I will provide in the description box of this video as well. Okay, another position is the junior software engineer and this is in Italy and the company name is TMC. And so you will be working like an in innovative solution, different languages such as C, C++, C Sharp, Python. So mostly all related to the programming, right? And you have to work in the different environments. This is not like a straightforward programming. You will have the opportunity to work in the like different markets, for example, defense, automobile, railways, biomedical, industrial automation, something like that. So a lot of experience you will get, right? So as a recent graduate, this is the best, I think, opportunity for you. So you should have the master's or PhD degree in computer science or software engineering or electronics engineering or similar related to field, right? Uh, if you have some like hand-on experience, right? C, C++, C Sharp, or Python, this type of programming. Not all languages, please remember, this is slash, 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 means this or this or this or this. But if you have two or three languages, then it will be a best like opportunity for you to get selected for this position. No working experience is required. It is clearly mentioned. No work experience is required. Excellent written and verbal communication skills, right? This is the basic requirement, you know this. But no working experience is required here. So you will get a good salary and benefits. So you have to apply and the link is here and link I will provide in the description box of this video as well. Okay, another position is graduate mechanical engineers. And this is in Ireland and this is in Ritec Group. And Ritec Group is like internationally recognized leader in fire protection system. And this is basically internationally approved to design, manufacture, install, service and commission to all standards and have experience in fire sprinkler protection, right? So basically what is this all about? Like this is all about like uh, AutoCAD drawing you have to do, like creating hydraulic calculation with industries, approved software, creating uh, operation and maintenance manuals or something like that. So a lot of things you have to do, right? Ordering of parts. So the requirements are you have should have the me mechanical or electronics engineering degree or maybe recent graduates in mechanical or electronics engineering because this, what are what jobs like I'm telling these are all entry-level jobs. And you should have in, you should have interest. I mean, enjoy working, you should have interest towards AutoCAD and 3D design package and this interest and you, this interest you must show in your cover letter, right? You must show that you are like maybe crazy for AutoCAD or 3D design package. You have to show this in college. If you need my help, I can help you, okay? 
but you must go through my the previous video about the cover letter and cv yes and you should enjoy working with like uh, on initiative means you should have like something in yourself right motivation and fluency in english right so this is all the requirements but what you will get you will get a good salary yes and all the benefits and you must apply with cv cover letter and other documents link is here and link i will provide in the description box of this video so this is all about for today and i will update you for the recent phd positions postdoc positions recent jobs uh, entry level jobs and jobs those request the less experience and less expertise so i will keep posting and your job is to like subscribe share the, this video don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will get notified for the uh, further videos right and further information and don't forget also to go through my previous video means like how to apply what like how to create a one page cv how to create a perfect cover letter so a lot of information please go through it okay thank you very much and see you in the next video bye bye